Hey, what's up? This is BQ and I am in a place to be, which is the Impact Lounge and uh, day five talk at Impact Wrestling Crossroads. Remind me to never review a Impact special again. Now, I don't mind doing, uh, obviously, doing a prediction of show for Redemption and Slammiversary and Bound for Glory, but maybe this wasn't such a good idea because the views on this have been crap. But, uh, you know, you know how we do... Um, Got to experiment with different ways to deliver content and everything, and uh, we live and learn. So next time there's a, a TV special, I don't believe I'll be doing a day-by-day -day review like this. Maybe I'll do a um, review of the whole show at once, or a preview, I should say. Preview and prediction, but in the sake of consistency, I'm still going at it. And right now, talking the main event, which is the champion, Austin Aries, defending against... The challenger, Johnny Impact. One thing I've appreciated the last several weeks with Austin Aries is that they have they haven't overexposed them on television. Like, they easily could have just be bringing him out every single week. And it seemed like they were going that direction when he won the title. Because when he had won it, they... I did a video on this. Um, Impact was really marking out for it on social media. And they really... They went a little too far, in my opinion. I think it was it was too much, especially because they did the TNA thing of someone coming and winning on the first night. So I think it was a little overboard with the Aries win, but they've kind of pumped the brakes. And I, I think what I didn't like about that is that they pushed Eli Drake to the side as quickly as Austin Aries won the title. But um, Johnny Impact is the guy right now in the main event scene. It is not Eli Drake. They had a rematch already. Really, really good match. But they're going forward with Johnny Impact. This is the third time that Johnny Impact has been the number one contender in the last year. This is the third time he's headlining either a pay-per-view or special show. So he headlined Bound for Glory. I think I want to say it was Destination X. I could be totally wrong on that one, but uh, he did one of the the, sh the specials, um, and now he's gonna, he's going to be headlining Crossroads. Johnny Impact is going to be the world champion sooner than later. I don't think it's going to be tonight, though, at uh, Crossroads. I think Austin Aries will retain this championship. I think it makes sense at this point to keep the title on him. But the Johnny Impact title reign is 100% coming, and I think it's going to be here by Slammiversary or at Slammiversary. He's been the number one contender, like I said, three times. He's even put the number one contendership on the line at least twice that I can think of, maybe even three times. So it's obvious that the company wants to put the title on him, and what they're trying to do is that babyface build of, you know, you can't win the big one type of thing. But... It doesn't. I don't think it's going to click with the audience with Johnny Impact the way that it did with maybe Matt Seidel or um, some of the, and regardless of company, some of the great babyface uh, underdog stories over the years. I think that's what they're trying to do. I just don't think it's coming over on television because Johnny Impact is not that underdog type of wrestler. What he does need, however, is a little bit more, little bit more edge to his character, something to make him a little bit. More interesting. I think we all enjoy watching him compete, but as a as the world title holder, uh, there could be a there could be quite a bit to be desired. So I hope they tweak at least something to the Johnny Impact character. Um, I'm not a big fan of his music. Don't mind a ring entrance. I mean, he's always had a great ring entrance and, and ring presence and everything like that. But he, de he definitely needs some tweaks. He is going to be the champion sooner than later, but this night is going to belong to Austin Aries, in my opinion, and he is going to go forward, I think, for a little while as a champion. Um, hopefully, the company just does, you know, continues to pump the brakes a little bit and, you know, be excited about Austin Aries and his arrival and allow him to be an ambassador for the company, but don't, don't mark out for yourself on social media like they have done a couple times this year. All right, folks, enjoy Crossroads. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.